Hi guys! Today I decided to paint Medusa. Uh, I wanted to paint this for a little while now. I wanted to do her like with all rainbow coloured snakes in her hair. I'm just sketching out a rough outline just so I have a guide of where to put my paint. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to lay paint over the top of it anyway. Now let's crack on with some painting, woo! So let's make purple because that's my favourite colour. I've got a couple of fun facts about purple. Did you know in the olden days only royalty was allowed to wear purple? And also I watched a programme once and they made purple dyes and the people who made them had to live out, out of the village because apparently it stunk. I don't know why they didn't just use cabbage or something. Whatever floats about anyway. Oh my god, that is so I'm gonna totally do that in my next video. We're gonna do painting with vegetables. Not sure about that neckline, so I'm just gonna change that. Uh, highlight her shoulders a little bit better. Next time I'm just gonna go around her face and into her cheekbones, give her a bit of a contour. I'm going to let the face dry now because we put loads of layers of paint on that. I'm just adding the snake hair now. So I want this to be totally wild. I'm just wondering now, is snake hair like self-cleaning like cats? a quick wash in yellow this is just so i can differentiate between the gaps and the snakes so i can tell which bits are the background yellow is not going to be my background color but i'm just doing this because it's easier to see i'm going to work back into my snakes uh, add some texture make them pop this is going to take quite a while though so i'm going to do it off camera I'm just going to add some um, curved lines. This will kind of give like a bit of a 3D effect. We don't want to be overly 3D because I do like to paint quite flat, but I do like to have that, just that hint of 3D. hours later and I have finished the snakes well I've not finished them but I mean I finished adding that texture to them so I'm gonna add some texture to the face as well now I'm trying out some new camera angles in this video so let me know what you think of these I've added a bit to the painting off camera. I'm sorry I've not got that because um, the, the battery died. I'm just working on the lips, making them a little bit voluptuous. Not that you would want to kiss Medusa though, because I'm sure you won't last very long. So I'm just adding a little bit more white to the face to accentuate the nose and to straighten up the eyes a little bit. And also a little bit around the lips, just make those stand out a bit more around the jawline. Okay, 
here so on my background this nice blue purple colour so now I'm just going to try out putting pastels on the top of acrylic paints I've been wanting to try this for a while and it has turned out just as amazing as I thought it would So I'm just adding green to the centre of the eyes and a little bit on the nose and a smidge on the forehead. So I'm just going to use this Windsor & Newton pastel fixing spray. All the little fragments from the pastel will just like smudge and come off if you don't fix it. So I'm just going to pop that on and then good to go. edges with some gold paint. This is something I tend to do a lot in my paintings. Now I'm just going to add some eyelashes. I feel like my brush is not thin enough for this but we'll see how it goes. absolutely flipping wrong so I'm just gonna rub them off goodbye eyelashes bye So this is like literally the last bit, I'm just adding some white around the eyes. Thanks for watching, you can see the results over on my Instagram, so drop me a like and a follow. I'll see you all next time, painting with vegetables, bye!